Hey, it's Rachel. So I know it's been a while. I haven't been that consistent with uploading. To be completely honest, I just haven't been in the mood to film and I really want to keep this channel always positive and always just like very real if that makes sense. And so if I'm just not in the mood to film, I'm not gonna force it. So just FYI, I apologize if I'm not as consistent with the uploads as you want me to be. I promise I will try my best and that's all I can do. But today I was like, Rachel, you know, you really need to film something. And I'm also out of groceries. So rather than get my groceries delivered, which is what I normally do, for those of you guys who have seen my other videos, I almost always use Instacart. But today, one, because I wanna film something, two, because it's like 60 degrees out in February, I'm actually gonna go to the grocery store. It's kind of a trek for me. It's why we get our groceries delivered. I don't own a car, or I should say Jake and I neither of us own a car and there isn't a grocery store within walking distance to our place so it is going to require some walking and a bus ride it's kind of a trek but that's okay because it's gorgeous outside so i am about to head out i think today i'm going to go to mariano's but on my walk towards the bus i'm also going to stop for coffee there's this really cute like small farm to table place really close to my home called cellar door provisions and so i'm going to pick up some of their coffee to go i'm going to take you guys with me you know how i feel about vlogging in public but i'm going to do it anyway and hopefully i don't get yelled at yeah okay i'll see you guys at the grocery store because I want to show you guys, you should check out the store brands. I know like people really like their name brand, but I'm gonna show you something that I just discovered that I think you'd be interested in. So I've never purchased these before, but these are the Quaker Popped Rice Crisps. They're just like little chocolate crisps. This is the store brand. So it's the pop, it's like pretty much the exact same. So the macros for the uh, name brand is 1.5 fat, 25 carbs, and two protein. The store brand, we've got zero fat, 14 carbs, and less than a gram of protein. So something to think about, I'm gonna be buying these ones instead of the name brand, and I'm gonna let you know how they taste. bought a little too much. Does anybody else like really enjoy grocery shopping? Am I just a weird one? I actually love grocery shopping and even though I save so much time and effort getting my groceries delivered, there's just something about like walking through the grocery store, 
kind of slow reading the label, seeing what's new. <sighs> yeah, I'm weird. But that's okay, because now I'm gonna do a grocery haul, because people like watching that. I like watching that. I like seeing what people buy. So let's just get into it, because I gotta put this stuff away into the fridge. So first, I'm gonna start with the meat. I've got two things of chicken tenders, and these, it, this is the Simply Truth. It's the Mariano's brand. It's like their organic brand. Um, it says no antibiotics ever, no added hormones, 99% fat free, raised cage, cage free. Now, two things I wanted to point out. One, no added hormones. Apparently, and I didn't know this, let me know in the comments below if you knew this, hormones in animals has actually been illegal. So when they say no added hormones, that's totally a marketing thing. It's like saying all natural, like what would a fake chicken be? So yeah, I didn't know that. So I used to like, oh my gosh, it says no hormones added. Yeah, it's just marketing. So anyway, tangent. I got chicken breast tenders, and the reason I did that is lately I've been watching my friend Lynette's videos, and she has been making this breaded chicken with chicken tenders. Now, obviously breadcrumbs have gluten, but a long time ago I bought some gluten-free like panko stuff that was actually in the Passover section. It's whatever, it's gluten-free, and it's actually really delicious, and I haven't used it in like a long time. I really hope it's still good. I should probably check. But she just got me like in the mood for breaded chicken, so I'm gonna try doing that for my meal prep this week. And then I also got some ground turkey. Again, the Simply Natural brand. It says no antibiotics, raised cage-free in a humane environment. Next is eggs. Again, this is the Simply Truth. It says natural in really big letters. What would an unnatural egg be? No, marketing. Don't let it fool you. But it does say cage-free, and it says from hens raised in a humane environment. Eggs do not contain hormones. Yes, because that's illegal. So yeah, but it was pretty cheap because it's the store brand. It was like two something. I don't know, you saw the clip. Whenever I film in the grocery store, I always like to show the prices. I don't know if that's interesting to you guys too, but I kind of feel like that might give you a better sense of how much I'm spending. Anyway, putting this in the fridge. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the veggies. So common misconception with my diet, paleo-esque diet, kind of, is that we eat a ton of meat. That is not true. Yes, I eat meat. However, I eat a lot more veggies, and so should you. Even if you're counting macros, even if you're keto, I still think you need to be eating like copious amounts of vegetables. So I bought a ton. I'm going to show you. So I found this, which I thought was really interesting. It says that it was grown in Rochelle, Illinois. So like really close to Chicago. It says bright farms, local baby greens, and proud to be GMO and pesticide free, locally grown. So ingredients may include baby spinach, baby arugula, baby kale, and romaine. I thought it was kind of cool that they had like locally grown veggies. I do think that you should purchase local if you can. And so it was really cool to see it in like a commercial grocery store and not just at my farmer's market. So I got this. And then in the salad, I also got this broccoli slaw. Uh, broccoli, carrots, red cabbage. I really like adding these to my salads just to give it like more of a crunch. So yeah, so I got these, and in case you guys were wondering, no, I don't buy salad dressing. I haven't purchased salad dressing in a really long time. Normally because all of the commercial brands are made with soybean oil, and soy and I don't get along. And then the one brand that like everybody and their mother, like every bodybuilder on YouTube uses, is all made with yogurt, so it's all dairy, so I tend to avoid that, but if you are looking for a salad dressing, believe it or not, I use mustard and olive oil, and that's it. Sometimes just mustard if I don't have enough fats in my macros to use olive oil. I love it, like I love it. So, I don't know, give it a try. I also have a mustard salad dressing recipe that has honey and apple cider vinegar in it if you think that you need something a little bit sweeter. 
and I do have that video, I will put it in the description box and also link it above with that little thing that comes out to other videos. Okay, moving on. Okay, so I also got, you can't see what that is if it's in a bag. Zucchini. Um, this is called something else in the UK. I can't remember what it's called. But this is zucchini, aka squash. Jake actually really doesn't like zucchini, which is why I haven't purchased it in a long time. But I did the grocery shopping today and I felt like zucchini, so I bought some. And then I also got baby carrots. Those of you who follow me, I always buy baby carrots. It's like my number one snack of choice. Uh, Jake snacks on it pretty much all day, every day. I normally get the big Costco brand, but this will do for now. And then fruit. So for those who know me, you know I actually hate fruit. I know, I'm really, I'm really weird, I get it. It's a thing, whatever. The two things that I will eat are berries, so strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, etc. So I did get these strawberries just because, I don't know, they look so good, like they're nice and big and like fresh looking, so I did get these. And the second thing that I will eat are green apples. I like green because green is more sour than sweet. I will not eat red or yellow or whatever. And I did not buy any of these organic. That is something that you need to decide for yourself. I'm pretty sure I've said this in every grocery haul and I will continue to say this in every grocery haul just in case you're new to my channel. But I do not always buy organic. I just kind of look to see what's on sale. If the organic happens to be on sale that week, I will purchase organic. If not, I will buy the regular. Again, do your own research, make your own choices. I am by no means goals or, I don't know, I don't do it like perfectly. I don't do anything perfectly or particularly well. So please do not look to me as like the end all be all, oh my God, I have to do exactly what Rachel does because I don't buy organic and maybe I should. Throwing that out there. Anyway, moving on. I'm really chatty today. Has anybody else noticed that? I think it's because of the weather because it is like 65 degrees outside and all I wanna do is go on a picnic. But I don't have time. Okay, we're like halfway through this grocery haul. Stop rambling, Rachel. So, carbs. Now, I am not low carb. In fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, I eat 180 grams of carbs every single day, but I have to have gluten-free carbs. So, my carb of choice typically are potatoes and rice, but I didn't buy any of that. But potatoes. So I got both sweet potatoes, um, a whole bag full, and then because they were on sale, I got the red potatoes as well. Down to the pantry items. Some things that I buy regularly, which are not, I would say you might not eat them because they're not exactly like natural. Let's put it that way. Rice cakes. I love rice cakes. They are gluten free. They are really easy for a snack. I just like them. I always buy them. So caramel is the best with almond butter. And then I also got the white cheddar this time around. Jake and I eat those uh, a lot. The chocolate ones are also really good, but they didn't have any today. The chocolate rice cakes have these tiny little chocolate pieces. Um, but because they didn't have that today, I got these. So I showed you the clip in the grocery store about how, that's loud, how the store brand actually had better macros. So I bought these. I thought, I don't know, this would like be such a fun little treat, chocolatey treat. I don't know, they might taste disgusting. I've actually never purchased these before, so we will see. Now, this does contain milk or at least it says it contains milk. Um, it's not on the list of ingredients. Maybe it's in the cocoa powder. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna try this and probably whatever small amount of milk in there 
will probably be low enough that I shouldn't, I don't know, it shouldn't affect me. We'll find out when I eat it. I am all about experimenting with food. Try it, see what your stomach says. Your body will tell you whether or not you should continue to eat it, trust me. So, rice cakes. Now I bought this for Jake. This is the Smucker's Natural. So uh, I live in a house divided. I prefer almond butter. I know a lot of people think that's weird. He prefers peanut butter. However, both of us like to make sure that neither of our almond butters have sugar or any like palm oil or anything extra that doesn't need to be in there. So if you are looking for a actual like good peanut butter, the Smucker's brand is the only store brand that I know or like not store brand, but it's the only brand that I know that is just peanuts and some salt. That's it. Almost every other like Jif Natural or Skippy Natural or any of those natural brands, all of them have palm oil or sugar. Then I also bought some coconut oil for some cooking and then also I've been having a hard time hitting my fats recently like I'm supposed to eat 50 gram of fat every day and I keep going under so I'm gonna try adding coconut oil and then I've also got almond milk my giant thing of apple cider vinegar this Bragg's brand is the brand that everybody says to get because it does have the mother in there this is the this yeah it's bigger than my face just throw that out there. I bought this giant container because I have been having apple cider vinegar in the morning. I also bought some more cream of rice, gluten-free, digests really easily and really quickly, so it's really nice as a pre-workout snack. Okay, and mustard. For those of you who have watched my last prep, you know that I was obsessed, like obsessed with this Coop's horseradish mustard. I put this on everything. This is hands down my favorite mustard, no contest. And it is zero carb, zero fat, zero protein. If you get like the honey mustard, that has carbs. It's just FYI if you are counting macros. But today I found out that the store brand of Mariano's has their own version. It's called short, Sharp Horseradish Mustard. So we're gonna do a little taste test and see if the store brand is just as good. Two more things I bought and I normally don't buy these, but I was just like, you know what, Rachel? You're having a really shitty month. Excuse my language. And I wanted to treat myself. I bought some flowers. I don't know if you can see these. They're closed. But these are actually tulips and they were $7 and worth every single penny. So I'm going to put these in one of my vases, vases, vase thing, thing for flowers. And that's gonna make me happy. And then I also decided to spend the $3 on kombucha. For those of you guys who don't know what kombucha is, it is like, it's, it is like, it is a fermented, tea so i have made this in the past it's supposed to be really good for your digestion i don't know if that's true or not i haven't really noticed a difference but i love the taste of it and even though it's three dollars and ridiculously overpriced i went ahead and i bought it okay guys that was my grocery haul it is four o'clock i still need to go to the gym today is leg day in case you were curious i did film my leg day i'm going to be doing the exact same thing today and so i will link it up uh, above here but if for some reason that link doesn't work just go to my previous video i filmed it all with a little voiceover Thing. I don't know. I might do more exercise videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you want me to make more exercise videos. Or really, no, forget the thumbs up. Write in the comments below because then you can talk to me because I love talking to you guys. I'm not even kidding. 
please talk to me in the comments below. Otherwise, I am talking to a camera. If you would like to see more workouts, etc., I am going to school for exercise science. So if you want more sciency based videos, let me know. If you want more exercise videos, let me know and I will film them for you. So I'm going to end this video here. If you have made it this far, thank you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.